The Apple Watch and iPhone 6 had so many column inches devoted to them before anyone even glimpsed the things, you could probably have walked to the edge of the solar system and back on a thin strip of guesses and waffle. Credit to Apple, then, that it still managed to surprise everyone this week. Some of the surprises weren't too exactly good, such as the fact that Apple Watch looks a little bulbous and ungainly next to, say, Motorola S Moto 360, although it feels just as light on the wrist, and has touches of that trademark Apple design genius in the way its magnetic strap clicks together. The screen on the Apple Watch lives up to its inverted question mark retina inverted question mark billing, too. Apple inverted question mark S phrase for the ultra sharp displays on its top end iPads and iPhones, plus 2. The screen on the Apple Watch lives up to its red in a billing, 2. Apple S phrase for the ultra sharp displays on its top end iPads and iPhones, the screen lives up to its red in a billing, 2. Apple S phrase for the ultra sharp displays on its top end iPads and iPhones. It outshines just about any other piece of smart wrist wear out there, making Sony and Samsung S watches look dull and underlit. The fact many of the watch S screens are under wordless adds to the feel that you've got jewelry on your wrist rather than a jump the pocket calculator. But Apple S real genius has always lain in the odd space that geeks call a E, user interface and normal humans call buttons and other stuff that makes things work. Using the crown of the watch as a way to flip between screens is a touch of the intuitive, tactile genius that earned Jonathan Ive his knighthood. It takes us instantly back into the decades when Apple beat the drum with a relentless string of new products, iMac, iPod, iPhone, iPad, and every technology company marched in its wake. It blends the traditional and the futuristic, the mechanical and the electronic, perfectly. There is barely any click as you flip between screens, and you realize that this simple touch is what smart watches have been waiting for. The iPhone 6, left, and 6 Plus, right, were also launched this week. Plus 2. The iPhone 6, left, and 6 Plus, right, were also launched this week. It does something many watch wearers do by instinct and it frees you from that will it one t it moment when you flick a touch screen and wonder if it will actually move along a screen, or whether the thing will ignore you completely. The almost bubble-like screen of apps, and innovations such as a sat-nav that guides you by vibrations, rather than by an arrow on screen, are exhilarating reminders of what made Apple exciting in the first place, big ideas. You can use the watch as a viewfinder for iPhone S camera or as a remote control for Apple S little TV box. There are no words on screen, only icons. That might mean that civilians find the watch a little difficult to get to grips with, as they have to learn what each little badge means before they can find their way around, but the design imparts a subtle elegance that has always been Apple S hallmark. If it takes a while to learn, so be it. This is the first genuinely new product that Apple has released since Steve Jobs' death in 2011. The last time Jobs took to the stage was in 2010, to announce the first iPad. Since then, the firm has been refining and polishing its existing lineup. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus were also launched this week, and with screen sizes of 4.7 in and 5.5 in respectively they can be seen as a direct response to Apple S Android rivals, which have had bigger displays for years. That said, the iPhone 6, out in the UK on September 19, marks a return of the design language that made early ifens such as the 3GS so different, and is a move towards the curvy beauty of the iPad mini, which has always felt like it was built by Apple as a team while the B and C teams labored on the Mi 2 square fill of the iPhone 5S. This was Apple's most exciting launch event in years, with only one product really failing to raise the pulse entirely. Namely, the iPhone 6 Plus, a monster of a handset that can t quite match the specs of similarly gigantic phones from Samsung, and which seems rather like a half-hearted attempt to appease the demands of the Asian market whose appetite for giant screened mobiles is currently insatiable. But as the only damp squib alongside a couple of true firecrackers, it's barely even visible. This is Apple back to its fizzing, 
inventive best, it is just a shame that we LL have to wait until next year to experience the best of it. Read more, http colon slash slash www.dailymail.co.uk slash home slash event slash article dash 275074 slash apple dash watch dash iphone dash 6 dash 6 dash plus dash apple dash launches dash exciting dash gadget dash ears dash game dash changing dash watch dot html pound sign ixzz 3 dihqtbpm Follow us. At mail in line on Twitter, pipe daily mail on Facebook.